Hello everyone. I decided to make another tutorial about digital oil painting in Photoshop that's a little bit more detailed and goes start to finish on something that resembles a more completed piece as opposed to just showing it as a proof of concept. I'm in Photoshop CS4 and I have a new document that I've created. It's 300 dpi and 11 inches by 17 inches, so tabloid paper size and although you can't see it from the video capture window I have another display and on that display I have a few reference images today I'm going to be showing you a still life and um, I've taken a few photo references of my setup and let me show you the, the setup that I'm going to be using I'll drag them over here so you can see them this is one of my photo references here's another reference and here's a third reference just for color because I didn't like the flash, but I did like the way that the flash made the colors a bit warmer. And in my final image, I think I'm going to want to, uh, to cheat the color a little bit to use the composition from these two images, but warm up the colors a little bit like this image below. I have these images on my secondary display so that they don't crowd my workspace in Photoshop, but I just wanted you to see this is our target image. Whenever possible, if you can work from life and not from photos, definitely work from life and not from photos, but if lighting conditions are too variable, um, if you are going to be working with a subject that you can't set up and leave for a long period of time, then take photos, but try to take multiple photos from slightly different angles so that you can keep in mind the three-dimensional nature of objects, because cameras have a way of flattening um, what they capture and your eyes do very subtle interpolations between the two images that each eye is independently receiving so on my two reference images they're, they're almost it's almost like a stereogram I've taken them at slightly different angles and it will just help keep things from keep me uh, thinking about the three-dimensional nature of the objects now for my canvas I have this new document, which as I said is 300 dpi, 11 by 17, it's a tabloid paper size. I have my background layer, which I filled with 50% gray, because on my reference image you can see that the overall tone of the image is about 50% gray, and I also put a piece of gray paper on top of the uh, surface to help um, Get a, get a neutral to judge the various values that are going to be for the objects for their light and shadow on top. And one of the things that I'm interested in in Photoshop is incorporating classical techniques into the working methods that you will have to use. There are a lot of ways of simulating natural media after the fact, but what I want to do is to simulate the actual process of painting so that if you have a book on painting that was written 200 years ago, you'll actually be able to draw substantial working advice from those and not feel as though none of it applies to your digital working method. So what I'm going to do, the approach that I'm going to take is a very, very classical approach which involves doing a charcoal sketch on a toned background, working up that sketch into a tonal underpainting, doing a, a glaze, a process of glazing using a, a burnt umber underpainting, and then doing more um, fat over lean, more opaque work over the, the burnt umber underpainting. So for the first part, I'll just show you some of the techniques and approaches that you can use for the drawing stage.